Real music, real interviews, real information. That's why we call it Real Gospel with the x Man. Love this song, and you're gonna love the interview after you hear this fabulous song. Matthew K. Jenkins with You Rain. Awesome God, mighty arm, never known you to fail. Oh, what manner of man is this? That the winds and seas obey And all the earth declares your glory Proclaiming who you are You are the King of kings You are the Lord of lords You are the Prince of Peace You reign in victory you're the everlasting God Oh, everlasting God Oh, Behold, He comes with clouds Every knee on earth must bow And every tongue shall confess That Jesus, He is Christ And He is eternal life Oh, 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 oh. 
Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. I'm honored to have this man of God on the program with us, the one and only Matthew K. Jenkins. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule to join us on Real Gospel. Oh, thanks for having me. Yes, yes, yes. Where are you calling from right now? I am calling from Baltimore. Okay, Maryland. Yeah, I was um, yeah. Uh, I was listening to a sports talk show the other day, and they were saying that your, your football team, the uh, the Ravens, uh, that they're changing the scheme of things a little bit. I'm not sure if you keep up with your football team, but they're saying that it's not going to be as defensive as it used to be. The quarterback is more of a mobile quarterback instead of a stay in the pocket quarterback. All that good stuff. You, you follow the Ravens? Wow. No, I, actually, <laughs> I mean I'm a I do support the home team. Yeah. Um, but I haven't kept up kept, kept up with this, you know, this, you know, all the changes that are going on. I'm not really an off season follower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely, uh, you know, a Sunday to Sunday football watcher. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, yeah. When we can catch it, right? <laughs> when we can catch uh, it. Yeah, when yeah. I can catch it. Exactly, <laughs> man. Between yeah. between the, you know trying to keep up the home and the kids and, yeah. and ministry, man, it's a lot, you know. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. It is. So for people who just found Christ on yesterday, they're new to the body of Christ. And in particular, they may be new to gospel music. Introduce yourself to them and tell them a little bit about your story, how you first came to know the Lord and things of that nature, just so they can sort of grasp, uh, you know, who is Matthew K. Jenkins? Yeah, well, I'm a husband, you know, I'm a father, uh, worship leader, musician. I've been playing to, you know, to keep keyboard the piano since I was seven years old um you know my mom kind of my well my Sunday school teacher actually was the one that kind of discovered me discovered my gift he said he told my mom he said uh your boy is, is a knucklehead man he, he won't stay still you know but when I sat him in front of that piano he was you know he was okay for the rest of the class and so my mom spent the last two hundred dollars and bought me this piano I learned one song and three chords and she said okay you're ready to start playing in church now I played those same three chords to every song, <laughs> and it didn't quite work out those first couple of years. But the more the, the the as I remained faithful to it, God blessed me more, blessed me with more to bless the body with. And so, you know, I grew up in church all my life. I grew up, you know, traditional apostolic church. My uh, my father was the lead singer in the choir, also the elder and the and the Sunday school superintendent, and and. And, um, you know, I, that's really where my background is kind of from. You know, I just, church has kind of been my whole life. It's who, uh, my family is a, a, a church family. <laughs> and so there's an old saying that, you know, I was born on the front pew. I was literally <laughs> born on the front pew, you know. My parents kept us in church um, throughout the week and all day on Sunday. We didn't even think about going home on Sundays because, you know, because we were there all day, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I know what you mean. So, you know, when you said apostolic and church all day, I come on. I my um my grandparents on my mother's side, my, my mother's mother and father. Uh, were uh, uh, traditional old school Pentecostals, so wow. I can relate yeah. to uh, going to church on Mondays, Tuesdays. Yep. When, I think maybe Thursday or something like that might have been the only well, day man, that we weren't Tuesday, there. Wednesday, yeah. Friday. If we had, yeah. we, we were doing something on Saturday, Saturday, yeah. Saturday you know, some, some kind of snowball sale. Yeah. You know, in Baltimore right now, the Preakness is going on. We will be helping people to, from their from the uh, Preakness to their cars. Man, it was. And then all day on Sunday, you know, them little 7-Eleven <laughs> runs, we'd be sleeping right on the pews. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I remember those days. You you, you shared everything. I thought you were going to say that they, your pastor sat you down at the piano and laid his hands upon you and the Holy Spirit fell upon you and you became anointed. <laughs> that's that's the only thing you didn't say. And I was like, okay, he, he didn't, okay, that, that didn't no, happen that didn't. way. Okay. <laughs> It didn't quite work like that, man. I wish. <laughs> yeah. I wish. No, man. I worked hard to try to, you know, to get where to get where I am now, man. Like practicing. I'm still learning, man. Like this, you never reach a point as a musician that you just kind of know it all. You know, you're always learning as a musician. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. I, that story that I told about sitting down at the piano. Um, Ben Tankard. Have Have you heard of Ben Tankard? Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah that's his testimony. 
he says he didn't have any um, musical skills whatsoever growing up and um, mm-hmm. to make a long story short he ended up going to a church uh, as an adult uh, his NBA career was over with and he was hungry so he decided to go into this church because they were feeding that day and it, uh, some I don't know throughout the message or something happened the pastor calls him down sits him down at the piano lays his hands upon him uh, he, he gets filled with the Holy Ghost and then the uh, pastor says that, sh- that is now your gift and he said he's been wow. playing ever since <laughs> wow. yeah, a lot of people don't know that about wow. Ben Tanker but that's I- that's how he said yeah mm-hmm. that is amazing yep. that is amazing it, it is maybe I should try I'm tra- maybe I should uh, get my pastor and pray on my hands on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. And God will bless me with more, man. Hey, no, I'm just, I'm just saying, kidding. No, uh, but that was awesome. I've actually had, I have a friend, a friend who's played in, played in the group. His name is, um, we call him DJ, but that's his testimony, you know, that he just kind of, you know, that his pastor kind of blessed, um, uh, blessed his hands and he was just able to play. And, I'm, and, you know, I've seen, I've seen stories and heard testimonies like that of the power of God just moving on people, on people's lives to do great things. Mm-hmm. And it's just amazing what God is doing and what Amen. He's continuing to do. Amen. So, yeah. so this 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 uh, project called You Rain, which is also so the title track is also the same as the EP. And uh, is is this your first? Uh, walk us through how you went from uh, just being the uh, musician in your church and your ministry to uh, you know now you've got a nice song that is blessing millions <laughs> of people. Yeah. Well, it, you know, I was about I was you know I was about. You know, about 1920, when, you know, my pastor, Pastor Mark James, he told me, he said, man, he said, you know, your gift is not, is not just for the four walls of the church. God is going to propel you. He's going to take you places. And, you know, at that time, I started, I had already been starting leading worship. And he told me, he challenged me. He said, I want you to write a song every, uh, one song every week. Now, I knew to say I didn't accomplish wow. that. But yeah. <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> But I was inspired by his words. I was inspired by um, um, the things that he would preach over the pulpit. And that's how I, I kind of got where I, where I pulled my writing from initially. And I wrote that song um, as I was hearing him preach. And the rest of it came to me on the couch, you know, as I was in my own private worship, private worship to the Lord. And I wrote it out of a, an innocent adoration and love for God. But... You know, after being married now for some time and parenting children and serving in ministry for several years, you know, the song, you know, things mean a little different to you once you've been through something, you know. And so, you know, because going through all of that and uh, living that kind of life, things can kind of seem seem to get out of control. But God is still kind of telling me, he's like, man, I got you, you know, I know the plans that I have towards you and you know there are plans to prosper you and for you to have an expected end and I've learned to say in those hard times Lord you reign you got it because he has never ever ever failed me yet mm-hmm. that's a testimony right there and that's a yes, that's, that's a song right there <laughs> that's a song right there <laughs> Yeah, he hadn't failed me yet. So your yes, your kids, um, are are you um, putting them in music? Have you seen any gifts within them? Oh yeah. Well, everyone in my everyone in my every one of my kids in my house they already play an instrument. <laughs> um, um, you know, besides you know, um, besides all of the they play the piano. All of them have to play the piano, but wow. they have other other instruments that they yeah. play. Like my niece, she plays. My niece, who we um, who we took in, she plays um, violin, and my wow. nephew, who we also took in, her brother, um, he plays drums, and then my son, my son plays piano. He plays and he plays guitar. But we have two babies who um, just waiting to get ready to get them started. I'm already uh, messing, them, messing uh, putting them in front of the piano, having them mess around and putting the drums and them beat. Beat on those drums until they until they're hard to satisfy. <laughs> wow! Yeah, but we're That's a musical awesome. family. Yeah, that is. I mean, really, most people may not realize that is awesome. I mean, because I I picked up an instrument back in the day, but uh, that was about all I did was pick it up. So so, but that that's awesome <laughs> because if they stick with it. That means you have the potential to record something later on down the line with them. And they'll always have a job if they stick with it. You know, they'll always be yeah, able to contribute. True. Yeah, it's true, man. You think mm-hmm. about you think about the mechanic, the mechanic or the business owner. You mm-hmm. know, their sons, they, they put their sons in their business right away. You know what I mean? And 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 because they know like this is a this is a 
uh, whatever business, this is what this family does. You know, our mm-hmm. family is a musical, um, is a church family, and we're going to, you know, we're going to be a family that serves the body of Christ, you know, mm-hmm. and I, I kind of want that for my kids as they, you know, even along with the stuff that they want to do, you know, mm-hmm. I kind of, the Bible says train up your child. And I'm training them up just as my parents did in the way of the Lord, so they will not stray from, um, stray from that. Amen, amen. Yeah. So this project, you reign. What can we expect from it, from this EP? Well, man, I just I'm I'm the kind of guy that <laughs> I, my brother told me a, a long time ago. He said music is a spirit, and I didn't quite understand that, but I'm starting to understand it now. Music really has the power to make you do things that you really didn't you really didn't want to do before it starts to make you move when you are angry and i really just want my music to touch people in a spiritual way you know to uplift their spirits to uplift their hearts i want for them to as they you know as as they come in church you know the expectation is to never leave leave the same way that you can and i want people to feel that when they hear the cp wow you know the fact that you are apostolic and you would say something like that, all I could think about while you were speaking was the anointing. And the anointing has the potential of doing that. It is, I mean, I, I, I don't have time to sort of get into the, the nuances of just uh, mm-hmm. persons who have the gift and people who have the anointing. But um, I just want to say to the listeners, if, if, if you all understand the difference, and even if you don't, you all have to support this man of God because what he is saying is that the anointing is in this EP and that the yes, anointing is yes, playing with the anointing and so the only way for you to really understand what that means you are going to have to support this this project and get this project and allow it to minister to your spirit and, and did I yeah. sort of get it right yes sir you got it right <laughs> okay okay uh any so any artists any um people we should be on the lookout for that are just lending uh, uh, a tremendous hand, uh, uh, maybe with a solo, with a song, uh, anybody that we should be on the lookout for? Um, yeah, I mean, you could be on, um, well, first of all, be on the lookout for me, <laughs> your boy, okay. Patrick K. Jenkins, but uh-huh. also, you know, people who have, um, who have helped me along the way, um, my, my brother James, James Drummer Boy Harris, he has, you know, really um, done a lot. Um, and making this EP um, become possible, and I'm really grateful to him and um, and all his hard work. You know, Amen. I appreciate yeah. that. Okay, well, we will continue to support uh, you, Rain, and the music ministry of Matthew K. Jenkins. Uh, can you tell the listeners where they can find out more about you and what, where they can find this project? Yes, sir. You can find out more about me on Facebook. You can find me at Matthew K. Jenkins Music. Um, and also that same on Instagram, one one word, Matthew K. Jenkins Music, and on Twitter at Matthew K. Jenkins. Amen. Uh, would you like to give a shout out to your church ministry, uh, the city, the location, in case someone listening uh, wants to visit or they're listening within the city and may want to stop in? First of all, shout out to my wife, Crystal. I love you, honey. And shout out to my church, Bethany United Methodist Church in Ellicott, Ellicott City, Maryland. And I hope to see you all there on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. And we're starting a new 1030 service this Sunday on, Mar- on May the 19th. So we hope to see you there. Amen. See, we're out of time, but see, you just said you grew up apostolic and now you worship with the United Methodist Church. So, I mean, I'm just saying they 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 no doubt are happy to have you because they of what, I'm just they saying. Are happy. And I'm happy to be here, yeah. man. They're so good to my family and yes. to my children. It's just a blessing. Yes, yes. See, I, we're out of time, but man, I could just because there's something about the anointing, and we just don't have time to go into the anointing. But I tell you what, as your as your career continues to blossom, and I have you back on the show, we're gonna go there so that we can help the body of Christ understand the difference between a gift and the anointing. How about that? Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, the one and only Matthew K. Jenkins. Thank you for spending time with us on Real Gospel. Thanks for having me. You're listening to Real Gospel with the X-Men.